Hi, I'm going to make a Python driver of one of these LoRa modules. So I have a, a template script here. I have a point of entry which calls this work function. And then in the work function, I initialize the comms, which is just a serial port. So I list the serial ports and the user can select the serial port. And then in a loop, a command line user interface is presented to start off, let's look at how to set the address. So here's the documentation. So the device has several modes of operating and they are controlled by the M1 and M0 pins. Now you can actually control those pins with the DTR and RTS pins on a virtual serial port but I'm just using wire to pull those pins up or down. So we've got transmission mode, both pins pulled to ground. We've got Wacom radio transmit mode, M0 pulled high, Wacom radio receive mode, M1 pulled high, and then deep sleep mode, both M1 and M0 pulled high. And this is the mode in which configuration is supported. Here's the protocol. To write a register, we prefix the byte C0. Then we set the start address of the register. Then we set the length of data. And then we set the data. And in response, we get a packet of data prefixed with a C1 byte. So we need to start off with the C0 byte. Then we need the starting address. So if we look down at the registers, the starting address will be C0, which holds the high byte of the, the address. And then the register one holds the low byte of the address. So start address will be zero. And the number of bytes will be two. And then we need the high byte address bit shift eight and then we need the low byte so mask with a f f print out the response i'm going to reconstruct the address third byte bit shift or response fourth byte to do a read we use the prefix of c1 we specify the start address and the number of data bytes to receive and in the documentation they've also got a, a temporary write uh, method so you use the prefix c2 and this I can see now would be useful for when you want to quickly switch between channels or addresses so rather than writing to the EEPROM you can just uh, do the change in RAM so here I have the virtual serial port, um, which is currently plugged into my computer. So one. So go to settings. I've written the address of one, two, three, four. So let me then read the address back. And there we have, I've read the address. The next most important register is 04, which is setting the channel, which is the offset from the base frequency, which is 410.125 Hertz. In a similar fashion, we need the prefix of C0. Then we need the register address, which is 04 and then we need the number of bytes and then we need the data to write or write there we go so i filled out the rest of the functionality and refactored what i had into a class so i have a read all settings so what i do in the read all is I send a read command um, starting at the zero register asking for six bytes and that will give me back all of the settings. 
So I go through each of the, the sections of the received data and I pass that into an object. So I made a couple of aerials. This is 17.3 centimeters long, which is the idealized speed of light divided by the hertz divided by four. On the end, I soldered a terminal pin so that it can slide into the SMB connector. First of all, I'm going to check the settings. This one at the bottom has the address of two. This one at the top has address of one. They both have the same air baud rate and they are both using fixed transmission. Here I've got both devices with antennas next to each other with serial adapters connected to them. In the code, in the listening context, I'm just going to continuously read. The read will time out after a certain period of time. And then in the send, I'm going to repeatedly ask for an input of the address, input of a channel and data to send. So once both devices are in transmission mode and they have the appropriate settings, we can try to communicate. So I'm going to listen down here and I'm going to send up here. So input address is two, channel 33. Hello world. There we have hello world. One last thing, I want to set the encryption value and see what happens there. So, so with the encryption set on module one, but not on module two, module two does not receive any data. So I'm now going to put module two into the settings mode and set the encryption bytes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now that the encryption is the same on both of the devices, data can again be sent to one another. So there we have it, some code that lets us utilize these quite nifty little LoRa modules.